Hello and welcome to the Avalon Planetary Exploration Tutorial. In this tutorial, I will cover exploring planets and things you can do when you're on planets, such as building structures and other things. So let's go ahead and I'm approaching this planet here. Now, in order to explore a planet, you want to confirm that you have enough probes, which is shown down here. There's four probes you start with, and also you can also see how many probes you have as well on the equipment here. Got four probes. Okay, so you get close to a planet or a moon if you had the moon's DLC installed, and then you simply left click, and then the probe will, you'll see the probe come out. Oh, this one says probe destroyed an atmosphere, which means um, sometimes on more uh, violent atmospheres, the probes will be destroyed. But it may not always be a violent atmosphere. Atmosphere is just more likely a chance it could be. In this case, it's only moderate, so that's not too bad. Um, moderate atmosphere, but it's still also a probe, so that does happen at times. Okay, so once you launch a probe, you will get scan results. Show you the planet size, the planet type, which is arid, atmosphere moderate, temperature 97. No life forms or resources detected, but nine artifact locations. This don't mean it's only nine artifacts, it means it's nine artifact locations. So um, you might, one of those locations, you might get a token that may have, you know, three artifacts. Okay, now locations are unique locations that are unique to that type of planet. So for example, if you're on a desert planet, they may be pyramids or, or statues, things like that. And facilities means it's a uh, constructed facility, a man-made facility, such as a starport, a uh, factory, or, you know, trade post, things like that. Okay, so, in which you can explore these, which we'll explain that in a little while. So, this looks like a, this planet, in my opinion, looks very worthwhile because you have nine artifacts. Okay, usually these are the two main things you're going to look for, is artifacts and resources. Now, I want to point out, too, that even though it says zero life forms, there's still a chance there could be some life forms showing up on this planet, especially if you start digging. Because when you start digging to collect fossils and soil samples, it disturbs the environment, and sometimes it, it can make creatures uh, you know, spawn in the area. So you want to keep that in mind, too. All right, so let's go ahead and look down here. It'll say landing teams consist of the following on hand and required. This is how many of each you have on hand. And to the right of that is how many is required. Yeah, I have four shuttles on hand. One's required. Rovers, six and one. Leaders, eight and one. Pilots, eight, two. 24 and six. So um, I cleared all of this. So I, I can clearly land the shuttle. And I determined that the moderate atmosphere is not too bad to take a chance going down when you have a, a planet with nine artifacts and 12 facilities. So I'm going to press land shuttle and I'm in the atmosphere screen. Descent to bottom to break the atmosphere. I have two, top left you see I have two uh, shuttle shields which means I can absorb two hits from lightning bolts and the third hit will pretty much destroy the shuttle. But you can buy these at equipment manufacturers. Okay so now let's Let's try to carefully go through, which is not too difficult because it's a moderate atmosphere. Okay, now here we are going down. Okay, so let's further down. Okay, now um, I'm going to pick an area to land on. Let's see, right about here. Initiating shuttle landing procedure. Over. Okay, you want to kind of look for a clearing to land, just like I did there. Notice I, I didn't land where there's trees or rocks. And if you do land near that location and you know, and you exit your rover, you can use your mining mode to uh, destroy any rocks in the area, or you can use uh, your lasers and destroy what's around if it is destroyable. But a lot of things are. So I'm in a pretty good area that's clear, so let's hit exit the shuttle here. Now here's my rover. Okay, so there isn't any resources. Now, resources are found within any rocks. Any rocks you see, you can mine for resources. I'll, I'll show you how that's done. 
you, you move close to it and I'm hitting mining mode and you have to be in a rover only to do this and then you go over a rock and you just right click and then it'll start using the mining laser and nothing's there because it's not going to find anything it's got zero resources I know that because of my scan okay so let's go back to move mode and had there been any resources a token could have came out there and it'll let you know how many resources are remaining on the planet's surface okay so let's go further here and um and if i can't get no so i can't get through through here even though there isn't any resources on this planet i might want to use my mining laser to destroy these rocks rather than use uh a laser shot because a laser laser shot will expend my energy packs here i got 12 so watch i'll show you that right now i'm a fire okay i destroyed it but now i'm down 11 whereas this would be no cost to use this this here okay or my other option would be to exit on foot and walk over here which you do have to exit anyway to explore facilities you cannot go there with your rover and explore facility you see you can't do that you have to exit, which I'm going to press right here. Now we exit. Now we're going to go right up to the materials factory. And nothing's there. Okay, but I explored it. Okay, so now come back to my rover. It's going to show the uh, icon to enter. I'm going to right click into my rover. Also, I can press this to enter the rover as well. Okay, so I'm not found anything there. And this um, creature here, seven hit points. Now the creature is not pursuing me, so he's not hostile towards me. And one thing you can do to keep creatures when mo most of the time they'll be not quite as hostile is to stay on the good side here you know once you start getting on the bad side then creatures are more likely to sense that you know you're more of a bad person so they're gonna um, be more aggressive towards you they'll sense that okay so you know, let's exit here i'm gonna just hover over my rover and i'm gonna right click or i can press this button here either way is however you prefer to do it now i'm gonna left click and i'm gonna go to my nothing there i went to the science facility and i found anything so now i want to point out that we did have nine artifact counts so let's look around for artifacts in order to find artifacts what you need to do is drive around on the planet until you see a flashing red x and that's an artifact location that you can detect them. so let's keep on driving around and see if we can find one So far, I'm not finding but I will find one because there's nine locations here. You notice this is many of the level facilities. And this is a very uh, populated planet as far as you know, static scale, like rocks and trees and things like that. It's kind of hard to get around on. It may be better to, to go through some of these areas on foot, but in order to detect artifact locations, just like this, you have to be in a rover. You can't be on foot and detect that. The rover has to. The, the ability to detect it so i'm not going to try go through here i'm going to right click exit because you have to exit to dig for artifacts that's the artifact location you notice it says artifact location dig so let's right click and i'm walking over here now the best way to dig and fastest way is a little simple you can move your uh explorer group with your mouse just left click and wherever you want to go and then you hit the d key on your keyboard or you can hit this if you want you know that's the DK, and there was one artifact. There was an artifact token that contained one artifact there. So that's one. Okay, so we can go around some more. And like I said, the thing is, I'm probably going to want to get my rover through here because of the artifact count. So uh, what I might want to do is, you can't use a mining laser on trees, but you can use your uh, comet mode. And notice I have five towards bad. So let me show you what that did. Now I'm a negative five. So now. That's going to make it where creatures are more likely to attack me. Okay, so let's... We can go back to move mode. Or we can also still move. Uh, oh, there's an artifact location there, but this... He's kind of facing me. He might not be... Um, friendly, so I'm not really sure. Let's right-click here. Start heading up there, and so far he's not attacking, so that, that's a good sign. Alright, so over to location, dig. I got four artifacts. So they should still be roughly seven more of the artifact locations. So let's look at that. So I'm gonna explore this real quick. Let's right click. Explore nothing. 
So I'm, I'm actually getting fairly unlucky here. Okay, so let's try that one. Okay, I found some good things there. 13 radios and 10 maintenance uh, supplies. See if I have any artifact locations, which I'm not finding any, but there, there are around, and there are creatures as well, as well as all the facilities. And if you haven't explored a facility, it won't have a, a red uh, cross over the top. Okay, so, so you know you haven't explored it. Here's another artifact location. I'll get out, and I will hit dig. All right, now I found four artifacts, and I've also got six fossils from digging as well. Okay, so I also want to mention planetary facilities. Now, in order to construct a planetary facility, what you do is you move to a clearing area where there's not much around, like 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 this here, it's fine. Then you're going to hit build facility and you're going to go into the crane mode and you'll be able to have the ability to build a facility on a planet. You hover over these eye buttons here and it will tell you the description of what each facility does. And it shows you here how many GCs it costs to build this facility as well as the amount of personnel required and building materials. Okay, I got plenty enough here, but I don't have enough GC to build any facilities. But when you can when you can get some facilities down on planets, it will definitely help out in your journey. It will allow you to sustain your journey longer and get further and further. Okay, so um like like right here for example, you know, this is a 25 chance of generating one personnel every 30 seconds. You know, so that's that's pretty good you know it's a town and then you got a city that, that can do a 50 percent chance so but it's a, a cost a great deal for that and you have a lot of personnel to have and a lot of building materials but either way it depends on what you're looking to bring in agricultural domes it will generate one food and water every 30 seconds so that kind of helps you keep food on hand you got mining facilities random resources every 30 seconds so each dude different things and when you're ready to build one you just simply hit the build button and what happens when you hit the build button is a structure will come like this right here and then you left click you, you highlight it just by moving over it and then you left click and it'll build that facility but since I'm not able to build anything I don't have the money I'm gonna just press here and it's gonna cancel the facility so that's how you do with that so that pretty much is the basics of getting around the planets and you know building structures, explore, and things like that. So let's try here. Let's keep moving. Um, it's got to look pretty good on your mini-map and pay attention where you came out. If you look where I'm pointing at, there's my shuttle because you can notice a flash and light. So I'm going to start slowly driving over there. I'm kind of going at the top as well because I do remember that they had uh, some um, more artifacts that I did not find. Okay, I'm under attack, so notice that creature is pursuing me so I'm going to kind of go around here. I could fight back. I don't know how many hit points he had. I didn't really get a chance to look because he was going straight out. Okay, so I'm going to get near. Let's, let's go ahead and ex exit and explore these facilities real quick. There's three together. This is an energy facility. 76 energy on one token and 13 on another. Okay. I have one unit of scrap I found there. And um, Oh, the uh, hospital. Get around here. I'm gonna have to go around the other way. Okay, let's go up here, and we'll explore the hospital. Nothing. Okay, so um, this happens sometimes. You go and explore facilities, and you may find nothing, or you may find you know some useful tokens. Now you can't just go back in with your explorers into the shuttle and take off. You need to bring your rover with you, just like this shuttle and you can either right click when you see the icon here or you can just click right here enter shuttle rover okay now let's go ahead and you know we enter now I can take off and hit this button here initiating shuttle departure sequence on five okay so we take it off now three we'll do the countdown two, one zero shuttle departure has begun okay we lift it off and now I'm gonna be breaking out of the atmosphere. Okay, so I'm just going to carefully come up here and straight up, and there we are. Okay, so that's basically the summary on how to um, explore planets. 
in uh, build structures and things like that. I had a little pesky fighter group attacking me there. So I hope um, this explains how to, you know, how to do this in the most basic ways, and you can find your own ways how to do a lot of things too. They maybe you may prefer to do ways things differently than, than what I do here, but it's a, but there's, that's basically you know how to how to uh, build the structures and explore the planets. Now, many times I want to mention that you can also use your shuttle before you you quick to land and explore and do a pass over the planet to make sure you land in a safe area as well. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.